We've been on the road for a week and here are a couple of things that we've learnt. One, you don't have a lot of space. So the van looked really big when we first got it and we're like, this is great, we're going to have lots of space. But once we put all of our things in there, there's not as much as we thought. So one of the things that we've learnt is you need to have ready access to the things that you use a lot. So we had a little brush that we sweep the floor with every day um, and we had kept it in one of these bags and you know it was just getting into it every day so we thought that's not a really good spot so we've put that in, tucked that away in a little hole. Um, another thing I learnt, these are like these bags are great. We've used these bags for our undies, well in my case undies and bra and in my other one I have um, I can't remember what else is actually in there. And what I've learned is I probably don't need 20 pairs of undies. So we do wash, you know, once a week or so. <laughs> We had these jackets as well, so we stayed at Caralbin last weekend which we thought was going to be cold. So we had these jackets, now that it's getting warmer and we're heading north we don't need those so we're going to drop those off. Um, under the bed, the storage there, I've got things like a yoga mat and a roller and realistically I'm not using a yoga mat, but I thought that I might but I'm probably not going to, I can just as easily put a towel out. And, or even a couple of towels out on the ground and use that. So taking the yoga mat out will give us a lot more space. So this was a great idea. Our clothesline up the top here, so we're constantly hanging things. So even if we go training, we rinse it out um, and then hang them up here. So when we have, we're driving, we've got the windows down, at least it's getting the breeze in and it dries really quickly. Um, ready access to things like our lights. So we've got our headlamp here. So we use that all the time. We always know that it's tucked up here on the hockey strap. And we've got our other light that we keep up here as well. Use all the space you've got because we need lots of space. When we've got the bed out, because the tubs are where the camera is, we got to, I can put one foot sideways. So that's all the space we have at night. Uh, little things like this bungee cord, hockey strap, I had to put a zip tie here because if anything heavy was on it, it would bounce around while we were driving. So little things you learn. So that's worked really well. The clothesline, of course, it just zigzags. So we've got actually a lot of line space in a small area. We did a load of washing early in the morning and hung it all up in the car all day and by the evening it was dry. So that works really well. And it goes all the way to the front on this side. Hanging space, also a couple of bungee cords zip tied in the middle, so we hang the bags off. As Amanda said, we're going to get rid of the jackets. Our camping chairs, we just put a hockey strap around them there so they don't sort of float around. So that's pretty simple. Another thing we found is we're very power hungry. By that I mean we have the GoPro which we're filming with now, we've got both our phones, we've got an iPad. We've got the laptop which uses the most energy, we've got the drone, like things lights. like the, these two lights are rechargeable. A fan. A fan we almost need already, although it's just the beginning of spring here in Queensland, but already we're starting to get quite hot at night. So we went and bought some power. We spent just under a thousand bucks on a big battery and a battery box and we are going to wire it into the starter battery so it will charge while we're driving. We can't have solar unless we have some kind of portable solar panels that we put out. For example, when we're stopped here, we could run it because we have the surf skis on the roof and that's where everyone puts their solar panels. So we're gonna see how it goes just charging through the starter battery and see if that's gonna give us enough power. This is what we've had to do now because we're still working. What we've had to do, I've had to go to a library and we go to the library, take all of our stuff in and we charge it in there. So we sit in there for a couple of hours, which is nice, but it would be just as nice to sit out here um, in the fresh air, you know, with a nice view and be able to work here. So that's the, the idea of having the battery and power. From here we're actually going to a library and we go in with <laughs> 40,000 things and we All find plugs, plugs and we charge everything up so uh, it's probably pretty obvious what we're doing but there's always challenges and everything we're new to this and, and we love it it's fantastic you wake up in the most amazing places and we need to have water so we have the big tub of water and then we've each got a couple of water bottles that are in the doors so one in the front door one in the back door we also have other water bottles on our bikes so 
we try we and keep probably, everything full as much as we can. We're probably carrying about 15 litres of water and you're never far from a tap, so we've got a big 10 litre container. But you finally go through it, so when you yeah. have a shower, we wash the boats and we need the, the water for that, and you know, cleaning your teeth. And We'd be doing 10 litres a day, I reckon, so we just find a tap and top up the 10 litre, and from that we can top up all our water bottles and things like that. But they're just things you get used to. If you're somewhere and your water's low and you see a tap, you just go fill it up tubs. And the other thing we learnt is bush turkeys like dirty clothes. Yes. <laughs> so we put them outside for a moment just to film in here and the bush turkey tried to take off with them. <laughs> so they, they don't like toothpaste. <laughs> they you don't tried like, that? Yes, yeah, so I did spit out some toothpaste today and it and it went down to have some and it was like and wiping its beak. So it probably thought it was ice cream or something but minty toothpaste is not ice cream. But it loves manky bite shorts. <laughs> so there you go, there's bush turkeys for you. If you've got any questions about uh, how we do certain things, put them in the comments below.